Having a lot of specialized tools does not in itself guarantee an optimum solution of an automation task. What matters is that they interact smoothly. The Sematic Manager supports you in processing your projects by integrating all these tools and functions into a consistent development environment. Structurally, the Sematic Manager consists of a number of powerful tools for project processing, such as the hardware configuration, the network configuration, editing the symbols, the various testing and commissioning functions, as well as archiving the project data. Furthermore, the Sematic Manager manages the editors for program generation, as well as the optional software packages, such as the programming languages S7SCL or S7Graph, operating and monitoring systems, such as WinCC Flexible, or runtime software, such as PID Control, only to mention a few. A decisive factor for a time-optimized configuration process, in addition to the comfortable operation of the software tools and functions, is clear and consistent data management throughout the configuration. This means in practice that the user runs one tool after the other as the project evolves and uses a continuously growing database in the process. The tools used can access this database at any time so that project data, such as the symbols used in a project, can be used by all the tools once they have been entered. In this way, double data input and inconsistencies are avoided. We will now show you what the project data look like in the Sematic Manager as seen by the user. The entire automation system is organized in a hierarchically structured project whose function is the organized storage of all data and programs generated in the course of solving an automation task. All the objects handled by the Sematic Manager have an equivalent in the real objects of the plant. A project comprises mainly the following hierarchically structured objects. One or more stations containing all the data of a controller. This, on the one hand, includes the configuration data with the station's hardware structure and the parameters of the modules used. And, on the other hand, all user program data contained in the CPU object. The CPU object has the connections of the CPU assigned to it and the S7 program contained in the CPU. As to the S7 program object, it contains the symbol table, the program source folder, and a folder containing the user program blocks with the executable code. By means of this hierarchical project structure, the data generated in different areas of the project are assigned clearly and easily to the associated objects. These can, of course, be changed on demand. In multi-user mode, multiple users can edit a project at the same time.